These jugs are one of the most common ceramic forms that we find in James Fort context. They were made in Frecken, Germany, a little town just about seven miles outside of Cologne. They're brown salt glaze stoneware. In the year 1600, when the population of London was only 200,000, over 100,000 of these were shipped via merchants in Amsterdam to London. And uh, they are the preferred drinking vessel for uh, consuming wine, beer, because of their sturdiness and they are impervious to liquid. Um, you can see that they are embellished with uh, a mask um, of a man uh, and they're called Bartman jugs, which means bearded man in German. Many are uh, embellished with medallions, which are the coats of arms of families, of nobility, royalty, but also cities and countries. For instance, this little Bartman jug has the coat of arms of Elizabeth I. And it was recovered last summer when we were excavating the blockhouse in the Ford Extension. Many of the more intact jugs come from wells. Um, it's thought that they were probably trying to uh, dip for water and the jugs dropped to the bottom and, uh, of the wells. And we were able to retrieve many of them um, in an almost intact condition. The medallions are coats of arms of uh, royalty. This is the uh, coat of arms of James I of England. And we have the coat of arms of Amsterdam. This is one of the more common coats of arms that we find in our assemblages because the merchants who controlled this Bartman jug market were from Amsterdam. Um, we have the coat of arms of the Holy Roman Empire, and this is dated. Um, we have an 04 at the top, and um, we can assume that's 1604. This is the Danish coat of arms. So there is a wide selection of coats of arms represented here at Jamestown. Each one of these little vessels was wheel thrown, handmade on the wheel, a time consuming process. And the f faces and medallions were made by pressing little wads of clay into molds that the uh, potters carved. So they're very individual uh, faces and um, medallions. Before they were fired, they were dipped into liquid um, iron oxide. So th the iron oxide appears as this reddish brown um, to a very dark brown color during the firing. It, it can range um, in color depending on the um, temperature of the kiln. And some of the medallions and faces were uh, decorated with cobalt uh, oxide as well, which shows up as blue. We're working on our minimum number uh, count of the vessels. Uh, we have well over 100 represented at, to date but uh, I am certain that many more will be recovered in the future.